guys, this is iPhone Punker and this is going to be a tutorial today on how to get the 3.1.2 firmware working on the uh, being able to use the iPhone box on the 3.1.2 firmware and it is pretty easy, nothing technical about it. Uh, I'll just show you how to do it. First of all, uh, always have your iTunes closed no matter what. And this and iPhone box does work with the new Windows 7, as you may see. Uh, there's iPhone box, the most recent version. So it is. Now I do. I'm just going to show you what you should be getting right now by using. And this is what you should be getting. It says jailed right here. iPhone jailed. And it's completely useless. So it is. It's basically like having iTunes. That's all. The little few added extras, totally worthless. And a lot of people have been complaining about this. Uh, everyone keeps on playing in iTunes 9. It is not iTunes 9. It is Black Rain. Uh, the person who built or the team that built Black Rain uh, forgot to leave it put in a patch called the AFC2, which lets you make a root system into the uh, iPhone or lets you SSH into the iPhone. Even if you have open SSH or, any, or or anything like that, it still won't work, so it won't. And this is fixing how to do it. It'll let you use the uh, iPhone browser and all this, all the others that are out there. But uh, it'll, it also lets you use iPhone box, which is a very nice, I think, feel that's a very nice operating or a nice system. But uh, what I'm going to do now is just remove this from there and close it down completely. You have to close it down completely. Then, next what you have to do is go into Cydia. Okay, there's my iPhone. Click on Cydia. And uh, next thing I want you to do is just wait for it to load. Do this update to show you. Pause this video if I'm going too fast, you know yourself. Uh, just click on search if it would ever reload the data. There we go. Click on search and type in A F C and then you'll see this at the very top. So you'll You'll see AFC2 add on the top. Okay, uh, click on that, install it. It'll go through the whole yoke. Reboot your iPhone. Do not forget that if it reboots by it on its own, so it will. Uh, if it do, I mean, if it doesn't reboot on its own, reboot it. Um, then your iPhone will be able to use SSHing software, so it will after that. Um, that's been the only problem so far that I found with the uh, the Black Rain, so it is. Uh, I've been able to use everything else pretty well so far as well. But uh, that's basically how you fix it, okay? So if anyone else has any problems, I will try my best to send some videos out there to help you. Um, I've tried this out on my friend's iPod Touch. It works perfectly. Uh, no glitches or anything like that. No disconnections or anything. Uh, he used the Wi-Fi version, so he does. I'd rather use USB because it's more reliable and works perfectly. So, any questions? Please subscribe, add me as a friend, whatever you want to do. Not really uh, push, pushed right now for subscriptions, so not really pushing for any subscriptions. So, if anyone wants to subscribe, go on ahead. Uh, I'm starting to bullshit now. Uh, <laughs> uh, I will see you there. Bye.